Hey there friends, happy Monday before Thanksgiving to you guys. I hope you're doing really, really good. I was asked a question last week about what is a flow pocket. And as I started kind of uh, trying to explain this, I realized that a lot of people have had questions about what is a flow pocket, what is a flow binder, what is a flow journal. So I thought I'd take just a few minutes this morning to kind of um, talk to you guys about my concept of flow journals and flow pockets and that sort of thing. <clears throat> For me, it goes way beyond a marketing term. Um, flow anything was based on Flow Magazine. It is a concept from the amazing and astounding Rosemary Morris who introduced us to flow journals in her uh, she does all kinds of really cool swaps. If you look, if you Google Rosemary Morris, you'll find out about the absolutely phenomenal work that she does. But for me, when I started making flow um, flow journals, for me, flow followed um, an artistic psychology. Okay, so I looked up the meaning of the word flow as it applies to psychology, and it is being in the zone. Flow is a mental state of operation in which a person performing an activity, in this case art, is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of the activity. Now just think about that as it applies to you as an artist or as a crafter. You're fully immersed, you're energized and focused, you're fully involved, and you are enjoying the process of the activity. So let's just take a quick look at a flow journal and let's think about that sort of thing, okay? So it's high concentration without distractions and distractions for creative people, um, it happens, y'all. You know, you you start working on something and then it's like, oh, I need this, or oh, I need that, or oh, I think I have an image in my image file that is five folders in depth, and I'm going to stop what I'm doing right here. I'm going to get out of my flow state and go look for something, okay? So, a flow journal is will keep you from being distracted, right? A flow journal, I have sold these to folks who have taken them on travels. Uh, they've taken them to holidays with their families. Uh, one of my friends from New Zealand is taking hers on her holiday. She's taking actual flow pockets on her holiday, so she'll be able to craft um, while she's on holiday. A flow journal is totally transportable, y'all. It's a book, okay? It is a handmade, hand-bound, hand-covered book. And the cool thing about it is it's made from a box, so it's totally recyclable. Um, the, also, a flow journal is bound in a, a wrap binding, so the actual signatures, you're able to remove a whole signature. So let's just, we'll just take a look right quick and you can see what I'm talking about. You can be totally in the flow, totally using just this book, this paper, these cards, these surfaces, um, these images, these words, these textures, these fibers up here that you have to play with. Most flow journals have some sort of fabric in it. You've got text to play with. You've got things that may remind you of something. In uh, this case, it's an old card, you know. Um, it's, it's a vintage card from the 1950s. So you've got all kinds, and I'm very fond of saying you've got all kinds of fun things to play with as well as read. So there is a lot of readable material in these books. There are also surfaces where you can write, okay? So you can turn a flow journal into an actual journal. 
Okay, so we are in a high concentration in the zone mode with a flow journal. The next concept that I had in the flow category was a flow binder. I just took an old binder and I chose an image that I really do love, which was aviation. Anything that has to do with aviation I found really interesting. And I started putting together flow pockets. Now this originally just started kind of for myself. And then I realized that people really did like flow pockets. So I started creating them. But this is just a quick look at my flow binder. Now why a flow binder instead of a flow journal? I wanted to be able to see my small-ish elements. Okay, so instead of putting these things in a box or in a file folder or anything like that, I just started curating elements and sticking them into these trading card pockets that I just had in a stash on hand. Okay, so we're thinking again, high concentration without distractions. You can take a flow pocket out of here. You have all the surfaces, image, words, textures, fibers, and fabric to work with and just work with one pocket. You have elements, embellishments, okay? So you aren't jumping up looking for something which is going to break your flow, which is going to get you out of the zone, you know, out of that active, fully immersed state that we all love as creative people. You're gonna jump up and try and find something. Now what happens when you jump up and try and find an image or a word or whatever? It takes a long time, doesn't it? And sometimes, friends, you fall down a rabbit hole and three hours later you're like, why is all this stuff on my desk? And exactly what was I doing? And <laughs> you just get lost in your stuff. This is a great way to not get lost in your stuff. So, flow journal, this is a flow binder, and I sell flow pockets already curated with all kinds of things for you to create with. They are $13.50, they're about four bucks to mail, so under $20 and you can have something super fun to play with. These are my larger images that I keep in my flow binder. Honestly, my flow binder has kind of turned into a hoarded journal because I just love it so much. Let's look at a Christmas pocket since that is what I'm making at the moment. Okay, this pocket has surfaces, images, words, textures, fiber, fabric. It even has beads um, as part of the pocket for you guys to play with. So it encourages condensed, centered creativity. You take one pocket, it's kind of like a brain teaser, you guys. What can you do with the, the elements in this one pocket? So you've got the front, and the back. You've got 27 art trading card blanks to play with. You've got about a half dozen art trading coin blanks to play with. Um, so you, you are, you're not jumping up to find stuff. You can sit down with some Eileen's tacky glue or a glue stick and make things. Um, these travel so well you know, if you are going to see family for the holidays, um, if you're going for an extended stay somewhere, you can take a flow pocket with you. And, I mean, it folds up, you know, kind of like this. You can stick it in a piece of luggage and be able to have creative elements that are already curated at your disposable. Everything in a flow pocket is cut to fit. It's the right size. 
You'll have to trim some things just because we're creative and we like to trim stuff. But you do not have to sit at a magazine or at an image folder and choose things. That is already done for you, which speeds up the idea of being in the flow and in the zone. Um, so the idea, you guys, is to get in the flow very quickly. You start getting into alignment very quickly. Now, what happens when you get in the flow and get in alignment? That scattered feeling that you have when you're creating turns into an indecisive feeling when you're creating. But what happens when you have less choices, you are focused, you make quick decisions because your choices are very limited. Your first design choice is often your best design choice because that first choice, that first voice in your, in your head is aligned with flow. And that is where you need to be to create good stuff. Create stuff that makes you happy, my friends. That first idea, that's the one to go with. You can try 8, 10, 12, 15 different things, but I can almost promise you that that first design decision is the one that is the best. You can also use flow pockets as journal prompts. Uh, you're going to have words and sentences to jumpstart a memory. Let's look at this card right here, uh, this pocket right here. It has a, a magazine clipping of a guitar. It has the words, make magic. Um, this may make you think of receiving. When did you get your first musical instrument? Have you always wanted to play a musical instrument? Why are you not doing that? Do it. Are you wanting to make magic with your music? You know, I think that those of us who have performed before really do recognize that feeling of flow and being in the zone, you know, as we're as we're writing music, as we're recording music, as we're performing music, um, it, it is a magical experience. And even for an audience, an audience really does pick up on that, that kind of magical experience. Um, so you can use the words as journaling prompts. They should trigger a memory, which makes them great journal prompts. And these art trading cards are two and a half by three and a half. So you can create journaling cards from the cards that are in these flow pockets. I hope you guys that that kind of explained the uh, flow pocket concept, the flow binder concept, and the flow journal concept. It really is, my friends, all about getting in the zone, getting in that perfect alignment where your creativity is flowing, mm -hmm, that word, flowing, you feel free, you feel fully immersed, you feel engaged and energized, you feel involved, and the most important thing is that you are enjoying the process of creating art. I really hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for the questions about flow anything. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, if you found this helpful, please remember that I love to hear your comments. If you'd like to discuss a little more, I'll be happy to discuss in the comments below. Thank you guys. Have a joyful Monday and I will talk to you soon. Bye.